Hi, I'm Ricky. Today we're on the fifth episode of the Endless Runner series. In this episode, we'll look at how to implement a money system and a high score system. And we'll do these things by using Unity's version of SafeEyes, which is player preps. Okay, so let's start. Let's make a new script and we call this player money. And let's add it to our player. Let's open it up. And in here, we want a value that holds the money that we made in the game. So we'll write private int current money. And we don't need to serialize this field, but just for debugging, let's serialize it. Remember, serialize field makes it so the value is shown in the inspector. Okay, and to increase our current money, let's make a new function and we make it a public void. I will call it add money. We also add a parameter to our add money function and we call it int money to add. And in the function, we say current money plus equals money to add. Oh, fix this. Okay. And now we want to call this add money function every time we hit a booty. So let's make a singleton of our player money. Okay, and usually we don't use singleton for stuff that is related to the player because if we play a multiplayer game, then we can't use singleton for player scripts. But I highly doubt that we'll be upgrading this project to a multiplayer version, so let's just use a singleton. Okay, so let's go to our bot collision script. And in here where we wrote add score, we're just gonna remove that and we say player money dot instance dot add money. And we just give it a one. So now every time we hit a booty, we're gonna add one to our current money in our player money script. But there's a problem. Every time we restart the game, our current money value is just gonna reset as well. What we want to do is go to our player money script and in here we want to make a function that saves our money. So we write public void, save money. And here we save our money using player prefs. The syntax looks really weird, so I'm just gonna write it down and then I'm gonna explain it step by step. Player prefs, set int, money, current money. Okay, so we are accessing our player prefs class and we are saving a value. And the value that we are saving is of type int because when we save values onto Unity, we can only save on int, float, or string. So we are saving an integer, which is our current money, and then we have to give it a key or an identifier to our save file. In this case, we are calling our save file money. So let's recap. We are accessing our player prep class, we are saving an int value, and we are calling this value money, and the value itself is our current money. Okay, but this way our saved money is just gonna be reset every time to our current money instead of just adding to it. So in awake, we'll also write current money equals player prefs, and instead of setting a value, we'll get it. So get int. And we'll use the same identifier, so money. And in this case, since we are not setting a value, we're just getting it, we are reading from it. We don't need to add another parameter here. Okay, so by default, our current money is zero. Then on awake, we set our current money to be equal to the saved amount with the type money. Then when we lose, we save our money and we'll save it by setting our player pref with the same identifier with our current money. This way, our player pref is just gonna increment. Okay, let's fix this because it's really bothering. And here, as you can see, we're using a string to access our player prefs, which yeah, it's the only way to do it, but we can do it better. So instead of manually tapping our string, let's make a new value. We make this value public string pref money, and we'll set it to pref money. And in here, instead of tapping it, we can just say pref money. Now, as you can see, the pref money that we're using now is a different value than the one that we were using before. So if we went back to play, our current money would be zero because we're using a different string. We can delete all our player prefs by going in the editor. In here, we'll just go to edit, clear all player prefs. Okay, a good thing that you can do with player pref strings 
is to add the attribute const. const stands for constant. That means a value that cannot change. For example, a const value would be pi. You don't ever change pi, you just read from it. Just as well for pref money, we won't ever change this string, we'll only read from it. So it's a good thing to add the const attribute whenever you deal with pref strings. It's not necessary, but it's an extra safety measure. Also, we're making this value public so we can read it from other scripts. Let's go to our finished game manager, and in our finished game, we'll add a new function. We say player money dot instance dot save money. Okay, let's try that in Unity. As you can see, the current money value is zero by now. If we hit play, as soon as we pick a booty, our current money increases by one each time. So five, six, seven. And if we lose and we play again, when we start, we select our boat, our current money is seven again. And if you play again, pick another booty, we go to eight, we play again, and we are at eight. Really good. Remember that player prefs are saved on the device. That means if I play this game on another computer or on the phone, the player prefs won't be there. So let's say my current money is 8, because on the player prefs money is 8. If I build this game now and I play it on my phone, current money will be 0, because the player prefs are saved on each independent device. Okay, so next thing we want to do is doing the same thing but with our yards. So we want to know when we have traveled the furthest in a single game. So let's go to our yards manager. Okay, so let's make a new function. Let me make it a public void. I will call it check new high score. And here we want to check if the yards travel that we made this game are higher than the ones that we made in previous games. So we say if yards travel major than player prefs get float I will call it pref yards and we just say new high score okay and let's substitute this with a new value so in here we say public const string pref yards equals pref yards there's a problem though we're using float to calculate our yards traveled. That means that if on a game we make, I don't know, 50.5 yards, and then on another game we make 50.6, technically we make a new high score. But since we're using integer to show our yards in the UI, it could be ugly, because it will appear that 50 is higher than 50, which doesn't make sense. It makes sense because it's in float. But since we are showing it in int, it's better if we also cast all these values here in int. So we say int here. Instead of get float, we say get int. And here also int. Okay, and then else. No new high score. Okay, and last thing we need to do is saving our yards to our player pref. So in here, when we set a new high score, we say player prefs dot set int pref yards yards travel, and we'll also cast it in int. Now let's go to our finished game manager and let's call this function. So yards manager dot instance dot check new high score. Okay, so let's try that, and if we hit play. We hit a rock at 16, and since this is the first time playing, of course it's a new high score. If we play again, we hit a rock at 9, we say no new high score. Let's try and lose after 16. Okay, 19, new high score. Perfect. So now let's make a bit of UI to actually show what we got. So let's make a new text for money. So we go in canvas. And instead of making a new text, we can just duplicate our yards text with Ctrl D. I will call this money text. We drag it down. I will say money zero. Okay, and now when we lose, we want to set this text right here to be equal to the money that we made in this game. So let's go in our finish game manager 
let's add the TM Pro. Also add a UGUI reference. Okay, and when we finish the game, we want to set the money text to be equal to a text. Of course, to do that, we will need a reference to our money, which we don't have right now, because if you go to a player money, as you can see, current money is set to private. Also, we don't want to know the current money, we want to know the money that we made this game. There are a lot of different ways to do that. What I like to do is change our save money function to give us back the money that we made this game. You could also make a new value that holds the amount of money that you made in this specific game and then undo it from this function, but that would interfere with our future shop. You could also change this value to have a public get but a private set. I won't get into those things, but for now let's just make this new function. So we call this function get money made and save money. And here we want to return the amount of money that we made. Okay, and now we return the amount of money that we made this game. Perfect. And in our finish game manager, instead of just calling the function, we want to save that value. So we say int money made this game equals player money that instance that save money. But it's not called save money anymore. It's get money made and save money. Okay, let's change the order of this. Okay, and here we say money text dot text equals money plus money made. Okay, let's go to Unity and in our game manager, let's add our money text. And we also need to put our money text within the game over panel. So let's do that. Okay, and let's see within the panel how it is. Okay, let's lower it down a bit. Uh, maybe let's put it here. Yeah, it's better. Let's put this here, okay, close this, save, hit play. Okay, and now when we pick up a booty, we hit a rock, money equals one. If we play again, we don't pick up anything, money equals zero. And in our boot player, our current money is still saved, because this is just the amount of money that we made in this particular run. Okay. Last thing, let's change our you lost text to say new high score when we make a new high score. The way we do that is basically the same as the way we made our get money and save money function. So let's go to our yards manager and here we'll change the check new high score value from void to bool. And we say if you make a new high score, we return true. If you don't make a new high score, we return false. And that's it. If you go to our finish game manager, let's separate these things. And here we say bool is new high score equals yards manager instance check new high score. Okay, so now we know when we make a new high score. Okay, so let's add a new reference to our you lost text. I'm just gonna duplicate this. And here we say if is new high score. You lost text dot text equals new high score. Okay, let's try that. Let's also link our you lost text first. Okay, and if you don't make a new high score, we just say you lost. If you make a new high score, okay, new high score 24. As you can see, it changes. Okay, so that's about it for this episode. If you have any doubts, tell me in the comments. Remember to press like and subscribe if you want more of this content. In the next episode, we'll take a look on how to make a shop system so that we can use the money that we make in the game to buy items that boost our powers. It's gonna be a very intense episode and probably very long, so be sure to not miss it. Alright, see you next video.